Join me and David this week as we discuss Son of the Mask and ask the burning question, does this movie suck? Welcome to Does This Movie Suck? I'm Chris Keenan. And I'm David Riders. I'm going to preface this episode by saying the last episode we did, which was The Fifth Element, is a very popular movie, and I wanted to look at that and reassess a movie that everybody likes. In this case, I picked The Son of the Mask, which is a movie that everybody universally seems to hate. Uh, yeah. And again, I just wanted to reassess it, see if we could look at it in a different light, because it seems like when it came out, everybody was just going to hold it to um, Jim Carrey, basically. Which it could have been. It, it it really could have been. Not with Jamie Kennedy. Not with Jamie Kennedy, no. But with uh with some of the other stuff it had going on, it it should have. It should have done something. Um yeah, until uh we get into the film and then we realize the things that it should have done it didn't do and then Um it didn't really do anything. No. <laughs> Not at all. It it the movie is an excuse to um pull off a bunch of cartoon effects. Yeah, my my biggest pet peeve for this movie. Uh And this and, isn't without ruining getting too far into it. Oh, no, no, no. This is like uh just a general I would say 2 3 hours after I watched the movie I went, oh, "Hold on. Hold on." They really leaned super heavy into uh, it it leaned really heavy into Tex Avery. Right. And Tex Avery is one of my favorite cartoon directors and Correct. creators. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize that that's what they were leaning so heavily on. I should have because his name is something Avery. Right. And uh, and and I got offended. I was offended after the movie. <laughs> you were offended after the movie. Yeah, th during the movie, I you know I'm like eh, it's it's whatever. But then afterwards, when I realized what they were trying to do, I was like, no, 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 wait, wait, no. Now I'm mad. All right, so <laughs> I have notes on that, and it's in the very beginning of the movie. So let me start with we'll go go from the beginning of the film. So it takes place in Edge City at at the beginning. Yes, which is the movie or the setting from the original movie with Jim Carrey. Okay. And it's in the museum, and we have um, uh, Ben Stein is ben back Stein. as his character from the first film. And from the first film, if you remember, he didn't seem to know much about that mask. In this film, like, Norse mythology is his favorite thing, and he knows yeah. all about it, and, like, all about Norse mythology. And I didn't know if he was being sarcastic or what, because you can never tell with yeah, he's Ben Stein. Stein. Right. Um, so he's he's giving a whole speech about Loki and how he used the mask, or people would use the mask to uh, unleash their id, which that, keep that in the back of your mind, the entire review. This is supposed to unleash your id, Okay, okay. So, Loki shows up, he's looking for the mask because Odin wants him to find it because of shit that went down in Edge City, obviously. If you paid attention to the first film, you understand that that's why he needs it back. He turns into the Hulk, for some reason, with weird hair. Also, <laughs> also, Loki is played by Alan Cumming, a Scottish actor playing a Norse god with an English accent. Well, and it's it's clearly anybody who's not American in a mid '90s American movie is going to have. I think this is early two thousands. Oh, don't tell me that. It is. Oh. You can tell by the crappy music. Oh. Like even in the credits, the music. I I couldn't tell you who it was, but it's awful. Just it, it awful. May have one of the two thousand. One of those originals from the. Uh, Let's hope not. <laughs> the musical section of the movie. So yeah, so he's basically he's like Thor is the god of thunder and he's great and Odin's great and blah 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 is great. Loki really sucks, <laughs> which is cliche because Loki is there and he gets really mad about this and then of course he turns into the Green Hulk monster. Y yeah. And <laughs> by the way, the hair. Uh, the hair and why are we so focused on the teeth? The teeth are a bit, well, because the mask, because of the Jim Carrey tooth thing in the comic book, too. It's very tooth strong. Tooth strong. But there's no 
preface for this. No, and there's a lot of emphasis on teeth in when they become the mask. Yeah, but for no reason. Like, they don't do anything no, no, with no. the teeth. It's because Jim Carrey's character in the first one, let's not even use the comic <laughs> book, because both films barely fucking pay attention to the source material. Uh, they use the same name. They do use the same name. <laughs> uh, they use the same character name as well. There's a lot of things in the first film that are just out of the book, but less gory. Yeah. So he gets pissed off, wants to find the mask, takes Ben Stein's face off in a very awful CG way, and replaces the S- fake mask. See, that's why I'm thinking it was like mid '90s. I don't. We can look this up. No, <laughs> I don't think it was. It, it. No. It very. Listen, Jamie Kennedy didn't even get popular until like the late '90s. So I mean, I'm thinking 2000, what, 2001. Who's most wanted? Maybe '99, 2000. You might be right about late '90s. It's definitely in that cusp. But anyway, the cops or the security guards bust in, and this is the most film noir Batman '92 animated series cop uniforms I've ever seen in my life. They're like this, like maroon, and they're. F- Finally pressed, and they come in guns a-blazing, and Loki shoots out the floor and drops them. Do you, do you want to be real sad? Okay. 2005. 2005? 2005. I graduated in 2005. <laughs> Me too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, the original probably came out in 95, so this movie's like t- 10 years too late, and the wrong actor. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> Yeah, there was there was one good scene that he he actually like I was like where was this character the whole movie oh and it's right at the end oh I know exactly what you mean <laughs> and I wrote about that um, oh I forgot when Loki shows up and turns into the Hulk somebody says good God and he says and don't you forget it oh, <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that's one of my favorites <laughs> so so uh, Otis not Milo. Um, yeah, they ch- they kept the dog, the king, yet the kind- also changed the dog. Kept the same kind of dog. It's a Jack Russell Terrier, just like Milo, but it's Otis now, and he randomly finds the mask in a river because we found the first one in a lake of well, some he sort. he threw it in the river in the end of the original one, didn't Yeah, he? no, he threw it in the, in the lake or in, the bridge, whatever the fuck that is. I think. I don't know what kind of water yeah. supplies so, or anything that work in Edge City to Fringe City. <laughs> To fr- yeah, Fringe City fringe was the city. other one. Yeah, because as that- if Edge and Fringe aren't the same thing. <laughs> maybe well, may- maybe they were trying to be clever. The, uh, they tried. The- <laughs> they tried a lot of things. <laughs> they they tried. So um, now we introduce uh, Tim and Tanya Avery. And uh, was that her name? Tanya. Yeah. Yeah, she was there. There's only one reason I know her name, and it's near the end of the movie, and I have to point that out too. And I'm not going to spoil it. I don't know if you noticed it, but I'm not going to spoil oh, it. Oh, I'm sure I noticed it. Okay. I, I, I watched this whole you movie. You watched, watched? Yeah. You watched it? No, I well, watched it so much that I analyzed it and wrote notes. I almost wrote notes, and then I went, mm, but I'd have to go back and watch 30 more minutes of this movie. I've got you covered, bud. A second time. No, I, I did pretty good at, at um. So, yeah. So, we get a... We get this whole introduction to them. She obviously really wants a kid, and he's like, I'm not ready for it. Yeah, within about 30 seconds. 30 of the seconds starting. of the movie. And then he has a um, a nightmare sequence that I think Shrek 2 or 3 ripped off, basically, where she's giving birth to multiple children, oh, yeah. and it won't stop. And it, it, and I'm like, this is a kids movie. So uh, you know, me and my wife and my daughter are all watching this, and I'm like, oh, it's it's a goofy kids movie. And then she's shooting babies out, just and it's not babies. even like it's not even like oh, they keep just handing it to them, which would have been as efficient uh, of of a joke if they had just keep piling on like fake babies because all the babies in this movie were super fake, right? But they're they're piling it, on babies, except for the times that they weren't, and there was only one cute baby in this one and it's theirs yeah that baby is adorable and looks like it's about to cry most of the shots uh yeah especially the ones with jamie kennedy and he did (laughs) (laughs) but um so tim 
and Tanya get in this big argument. She's pissed off at him. I think there's a line where she's like, I'm going to make a baby with a neighbor. Do you need anything? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is all like super red flags for anybody basing their relationship off of uh, mid-2000s <laughs> movies. Uh, super red flag. And everything just gets thrown at you with these characters. I, I mean, you don't need a lot of context for these characters. Everything that gets thrown at you those 30 seconds are basically the movie. Yeah. Because it's him not wanting to be or not thinking that he's responsible responsible enough to be a parent and this movie showing us through most of it that he isn't he, he is uh, a lump of human yeah. he he is absolutely that's jamie kennedy just showing up to work yeah honestly he is completely inefficient at life and i mean <laughs> that's gonna be jamie kennedy's autobiography <laughs> jamie kennedy inefficient at life <laughs> The one good thing I did was scream the end. There was there was no redeeming qualities about this person. I wanted to be like, eh, I sort of liked the character. They but try to give you redemption. They really do. In the end, they try. They do. They really pull at the, the hunch. Too little, right? too late. So she says that, and Tim is like, uh, I'm going to go with the dog who has this weird mask thing. And he's like, hey, Milo, do you have any room in your doghouse? Cut to the quote-unquote doghouse which is an entire fucking room and then he proceeds to go on a date with his dog basically plays uh hockey with it yeah, and he, um he he plays a bunch of games with the dog and then he lays in the dog's bed which is a bunk bed which right. is super weird because dogs can't use the dog <laughs> bed. No, I know I know dogs that can climb ladders. I don't know Jack Ra- Jack Russell's can why but would they go up there and sleep on the top bunk when who they knows? have a bottom bunk who knows <laughs> So he's laying maybe, there. Maybe, maybe the top bunk is for when Venus shows up and they're not allowed to sleep in the uh, same bed. Yeah, there you go. Because, which, that was another thing. He says, hey, he wants to hang out with that um, Jack, the, another Jack Russell Terrier named Venus. And then Milo barks at, or Otis, sorry, it's going to get fucking confusing because they're the same fucking dog. <laughs> Otis, Otis barks at him and he says, I don't know, I don't speak Doberman. And I was like, I thought you said it was a Jack Russell. It's... <sighs> Maybe it was supposed to be a Doberman. Maybe I just, just paid too much attention to a throwaway line. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it, it genuinely creeped me out when he lays the he lays down on the bed and lays the dog on top of him. The dog is kissing him oh, and he goes, him. you've gotten better at kissing. Oh. <laughs> His wife then walks in and is standing at the door. Which he doesn't notice another person standing at no, the door. Because, because he's, he's making out with his true love, David. <laughs> and he goes, you don't want a baby, do you? <laughs> Excuse me? What, would he have changed his mind if the dog was like, little bit? <laughs> oh, and did you see the uh, the little painting, foreshadow, foreshadow paintings in the background? No. They were like um, pictures of Jack Russell's, and it was kind of like the... Um, What's the fucking artist that did the weird pop shit? The white-haired motherfucker. Doc Brown. No, the artist that did the fucking Campbell Soup can. Why can't oh, I think of his fucking name? Uh, Are we going to have to cut that shit into the Velvet Underground and the fucking banana? <laughs> it's going to fucking piss me off. Marilyn Monroe. It's basically... Marilyn Monroe. No, it's not. Ma- <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... It's it's basically it's not Jackson Pollock. No, it's not fucking Jackson Pollock. But it could have been he wears if the glasses, dog wanted a baby. They rip him off in every fucking movie that goes back to the 60s. Uh, Andy we... Warhol. Yeah. Fucking A. Yes. It didn't even let you finish your fucking Google search. <laughs> Andy fucking Warhol. There's an Andy Warhol version of Jack Russell Terriers. And the face that you see the most is a Jack Russell Terrier green. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, you oh, see what they did there? Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing for... indeed. 30 seconds so down now, the path. So now, after this two minutes of introduction to our characters, we get Loki chilling on a beach for some reason. Yeah, for he's just like, eh, I looked for it, it was a fake. Well, I mean, he's a he's the god of slacking. I mean, mischief, whatever. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they make it very clear that he is the god of mischief. Very, very clear. Very clear. They mention it often. Also... Um, by the way, Tim Tim knows this near the end of the movie. He's like, he's the god of mischief. And I'm like, that's good for you. Like, Marvel wasn't even, like, Marvel MCU wasn't a thing yet. Like, yeah, everybody, right? nobody knew who Loki was until Thor came out. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Bob Hoskins shows up as Odin. I always keep wanting to say Thor. Uh, no. he He's, um, 
pre Anthony Hopkins Odin. It's, they definitely drew from the pictures and things because he looks great. You can't even tell it's Bob Hoskins you until he talks, all. and he's telling Loki, "You need to find the mask." And then he says, "My favorite line before I open a can of lightning on you." <sighs> so bad. And then, and then proceeds to like raise lightning from the sky, and nobody on the beach notices. Isn't not a single fucking soul notices. But Odin doesn't control lightning. That's Zeus. Uh, no, Did, in in this case, it would be Thor, his son Thor. Yeah, but like the god of all gods that controls lightning is is Zeus. That's a total different mythology. Exactly. Bud. Did they get them confused? In I that am, scene? listen. He, <laughs> He's an no, old, they didn't. They were just like old, gods. He's an old white-haired man in the sky. You know, a bunch of fake shit. <laughs> they did give him one eye. I, I give him credit for giving him one eye. Yeah, no, they did great. Yeah, they gave him the one eye. And that one eye, if you notice throughout the film, I'll bring it up again later, plays a part a lot. Okay. And it's cool. <laughs> it's probably one of the coolest things. So then... for like, It's like they cut to that, and then they cut back to the Tim thing. It's like, did we... Did we really need that? I feel like that should have been in the beginning of the movie. Odin telling Loki. Yeah, that should have been hit Loki's introduction. You know, some dude did some shit. You need to go find this mask. Like, and then we get the Edge City thing. Because, I mean, it makes sense that he would look for it there because that's where it was last known. Yeah. It, I, you know, I, I'm glad you uh, you mentioned that connection because going into this movie, I, I knew it really had nothing to do with the original, but it has a lot to do with the original, or they tried to make it have a lot to they do definitely with the original. Connect, they definitely connected it. And, and I'm like, why does Loki even want the mask? It gives him his own powers. Right. right. <laughs> but no, now I, yeah. I get it now that he was trying to, like, take it away from people. I, I see that. Right. And, um... So, like I said, we cut back to Tim for, like, that was so unnecessary, the Loki scene, at least there. And now we get to learn a little more about Tim. He's an ad, he's a writer and a, he's a cartoonist. Well, he he works at some sort of weird animation studio. Animagic. It's, I'm, I'm thinking they're trying to riff on Disney a little it's bit. It's a little Disney-ish. I mean, characters walking around and stuff. It's definitely uh, Hollywood Studios, basically. Yeah, they, they've got their own characters walking around their office. Did you ever notice an, any, like, cell animation of these characters or anything? Yeah. So oh, when is there you're in, a... uh, it's, I keep wanting to call him Edgar Wright, but he's it's not Edgar Stephen Wright. Wright. Stephen Wright. By the way, seeing his name in the credits, aren't you mad that they didn't put him and Ben Stein in at least one scene together? Oh, slow talk like... <laughs> off would have been fantastic. Hi, what are you doing at this museum? Them I and then Shaq all mask. having an argument. Mm. And who? Shaq. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the king of slow talk. <laughs> I love Shaq to death, but... Hi, guys. Welcome to my museum. Yeah, we kind of want to see a mask. Yeah, man, we want to see a mask. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see a mask. <laughs> Then action, and then juxtapose that with action, and then one of get, one of them gets the mask, and they speak normally, like normal humans. And and I want end. a movie. I want a movie where Stephen Wright gets the mask and just talks like Stephen Wright. <laughs> Somebody stop me! <laughs> I'm smoking. Smoking. <laughs> so yeah, he's a Tim's a turtle. Yeah, he plays, <laughs> that gives oh. tours to children. So yeah, he's uh, when he's in his office. A torpedo turtle, I think. Is you the... see some like sketches and art on his wall, or it look, almost looks like movie posters. David, like, are you he's telling me that they, David, do, are you telling me that they have continuity in this film? Uh, sort of. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing. This is also one of my favorite things, which. I just, I absolutely had to text you while I'm watching the movie. Oh, yeah. That's in my notes right here. We're introduced to Cal Penn. Jorge. Who is playing a Hispanic guy. I'm not sure that he is. He says Holmes a lot, but I don't think he is. Because there's times where he says things like, um, he calls him uh, Guru at some point, too. So, I mean, they're mixing shit up. Yeah. I I really think they just got confused but, but and were like he's brown. I've never I've never met an Indian dude or heard of an Indian dude named Jorge. Jorge, yeah, yeah. Unless Stephen Wright was just like, your name's George. 
You look Spanish. I'm calling you Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen sound, Wright does super racism. sounds in the 70s keep on trucking <laughs> fuck you <laughs> Stephen Wright in casual racism and yeah Tim's like I, I want to go talk to book I'm so sad that I don't know how to do art or they won't let me do the art yeah and Cal Penn's like well just go talk to the guy and Tim's like Good idea. And Cal Penn's like, wait, what? You're really going to do it? Yeah, he's all he's all like, oh my god, we're, we were just supposed to talk about it, and I was giving you a pointless pep talk. <laughs> um, so he goes and talks to Stephen Wright, and it's a very quick scene where he's just like, you don't have the spark. And that's it. That's- it but he's like, my, he's like, you told me my door was always open. And I'm like, well, that means go back with your shit together. Right, go back with some more spark, bud. And, and walk back in and go, here's all my shit. So... I don't know what the problem was. Right. And then uh, I'm just going to cut straight to the Halloween scene because Uh, it's just him talking about a Halloween costume and then needing a mask and then that's how he gets the mask. Yeah, which doesn't, again, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. Why does he have the mask on the mantle? (laughs) Why is it there? Why does his wife suggest that when he (laughs) says, I'm A, aware, I wanted to be a werewolf victim. So... Okay, cool. You didn't have the stuff to do a werewolf victim, which apparently. Well, I what does a what mask does a werewolf victim need? I know I, I understand know. if he turns into a werewolf, but he's a victim at this point. Yeah, so he's like so, mm, and he turns around and he's got a hatchet in his back. So he's literally just playing a murder victim, right? Why does he need a mask? And how did a werewolf get his hands on an axe? Or why did he use an axe? <laughs> no, he said he couldn't find a mask for it. Yeah, but... So I'm going as this, and he points at... Again, none of it makes any sense. Just There's... splatter some fake blood on your face, and yeah. put, smear a little schmutz, and get the fuck out there, and do your do your damn thing. So, so he's... <laughs> Oh, no, I, I wanted to skip through this, but I forgot because she sends him off, but she's like, and you can go out and have fun. And when you come back, she doesn't say this exactly, but she's like, we're going to fuck. Yeah, basically. Yeah. She's like, when you get back, we're going to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we're making babies. <laughs> so he he goes, and I remember this very well because I remember screaming at the TV. What, that it was exactly like the original movie? Uh no he well he's driving and he's driving a nice car he's got a classic car that's not in bad shape I don't know what what like tax bracket this dude is living in but he's clearly doing well for himself in whatever gig he's got going on right so he's got this this car and he's driving well down it's, the, it's his wife who runs some apparel company yeah, probably yeah, she's she, making all the dough but he's still doing what he loves to do and he's making a a somewhat decent paycheck, clearly. Right. Give the woman a baby. Is that what we're getting at? Just give the woman a baby. <laughs> you sel- you selfish prick, Jamie Kennedy. Give the woman a baby, <laughs> you motherfucker. That's the takeaway. That's the takeaway of this entire film. Don't be a selfish prick. Your wife's making the money. Put a baby in her. <laughs> so- <laughs> She's making the money. Put a baby in her tummy. Lock that shit down. <laughs> so he puts on the mask, or he starts to... And Alimony, it- man. And it... <laughs> Alimony, <laughs> and it it goes to do its thing and grab his face and do the whole like, just like the first thing. film where it's like, are we gonna do? Are we gonna do it? Ooh. Yeah. And if you notice, the car's still moving. Correct. There are pedestrians walking around. Oh yeah. He has no bearing on driving whatsoever. He Absolutely not. Got to be at least in just well, idle. He's Tasmanian deviling inside the car at this point, which is still moving down a crowded driveway. Right. But, Excuse me? By the way, that's what I wanted to mention about the id thing earlier, and I totally glossed over it. Every character in this is inspired by Tex Avery. Like, I get, I get why Stanley Ipkiss acts like a fucking a character from those cartoons, because he's into them. They show him watching them. He, they show him watching Tex Avery cartoons. Yeah. It makes complete sense. Why is Loki making fake silly guns out of his fingers and doing all this shit? Yes. It doesn't make sense. Fucking sense. He's the god of mischief, not the god of uh, uh, Tex early nineteen hundreds cartoons. Tex Avery, Chuck Jones cartoons. Yeah, yeah. I don't get it. He's got infinite power, and yet he's smashing people into walls. If I had infinite power, my fucking hair wouldn't look like that. That's first thing. I'd get a goddamn haircut. <laughs> 
and I get a, a tooth reduction. It looks like um like those plants, you know? Those oh my like God. it just looks like a palm tree on top of his head. It looks like he went to get it braided and they just put wax in it and went, <laughs> Yo bro, you're braided. It looks like he took it a pineapple and said, You see this? That's what I want. <laughs> Give me the pineapple top. It's so bad. And his costume is terrible, too. He's wearing like a... It looks They're like, trying. It looks I like saw he the rummaged fur. through what was left of the crow. I saw... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think they really missed out by not getting Alan Cumming as the crow. I would watch that. I love Alan Cumming. <laughs> I, I really again, fucking do. And again... It's not here. I don't mind Alan Cumming. I don't mind 90% of that cast. And yet, they were all so bad. Sometimes it's not the actors, they, David. Oh, no. We're no, gonna, it was not gonna, their fault. It was not their we're fault. We're going to dive into that more <laughs> as we go along here, buddy. So, yeah. So, he puts on the mask, does this weird leg thing, and springs up at the front. Oh, they, they were like, we have CG now. <laughs> mm, mm. Hope you don't like practical effects, because we're going to use one. Even the, CG, even the CG that they used in the original was pretty good. On... On par with what's going on in this movie. Right. They they at least made it look like a Tex Avery cartoon. Yeah, like, it, it fit in the context. Right. And it, it definitely fit in that noir type setting that this is obviously, that original one was supposed to be. And if you take that character out of that setting and take him out of that grittier setting and just turn it, it just, it's just a live action cartoon. Yeah, and that's fine because it's... Hey, it's Jim Carrey. And well, what I'm what saying is, at. that's what I'm saying. Jim Carrey's mask is in a setting that that character doesn't belong in. Oh, absolutely. It's a very dark world, mobsters. It's very Dick Tracy, early Batman. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. You know, in this movie, it doesn't belong. It, it, or I mean, it might belong a little too much or too care easily. What era is this movie set in? It's, uh, yes. <laughs> They have cell phones. I think it's modern. It's they have cell phones, but they clearly live in like Pleasantville, right? Because well, I they, mean, everything's cookie cutter, and he, he rolls up, and they have like green lawn and the white picket fence. Oh yeah, and he's like, "I'm going to be a milkman," and I'm like, "If I saw some dude dressed as a milkman walking up to a door, I'd probably call the cops." <laughs> So we get Jamie Kennedy doing the the bit where he's pulling a bunch of random shit out of his pockets. Because the guy's asking him for the ID. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he shows him an ID with the... With the face. With the face. The mask face. And he goes, yep. You don't think that that dude would know? Like, But here's the other thing. Everybody knows it's Tim. Everybody but that dude. Everybody but that dude. But he's like, well, I guess he's got a name badge that says Anna Magic on it. So <laughs> let's let him through. And then he goes in, sees a girl dressed we like a librarian, I guess. She no, she's like a, a cat. A cat, I maybe. Don't she's got like the the leather, maybe a devil of some sort. She's listen, got like the le- leather one piece thing. Listen, David. Listen, listeners. I need everybody to listen to me right now. I'm not going to remember this movie after we're done with this. I barely remember the, this. The movie only thing that night. the only reason I'm going to remember it at all is because I'm going to have to listen back to this and do some editing and things like that, and I'm going to have to hear our voices talking about it again, and I'm going to go, oh yeah, that happened. And yep. then I'm going to go, I can't wait to not have to listen to this anymore so I can forget about it again. That's that's the way I feel right now. <laughs> so, I told you last night, friends don't let friends li- watch The Son of the Mask. I wanted to be fair. <laughs> I want to be fair. I want to watch, I don't want to just watch popular movies and go, oh, it was shit. Or it was great. Like everybody said it was and I was wrong. I want to genuinely watch a movie that yeah. was con- conceived or thought of as complete garbage and hope, hope. That I can go into it and go, okay, I know this isn't Jim Carrey. I know this is a different thing. I know it's god-awful Jamie Kennedy. But please, let there be something that makes me go, it was great. Wait till the end, folks. I will give credit where credit is due, when it is due. And I... I, (laughs) When? When when it is due. I like garbage movies. I really do. I I have bad taste in movies. Oh, yeah. I love trash films. I I love trash films. You had, you took a break. I had to take a break. Sorry. <laughs> I I really walking into this episode, I really hoped I was going to walk into your house and go and and you were going to go, "Did you you watch the movie?" And I was going to go, "Yeah, yeah." 
I watched it, and you would have just looked at me dead in the eyes and went, gotcha, bro. I didn't watch that shit. <laughs> I'd have had respect. I'd have had respect for no, that. I, I showed up with and you showed a up fucking with booklet, notes? a entire novel <laughs> of notes. <laughs> I analyzed the fuck out of this film. You tried. You tried to make it good. I know. I really wanted it to be, and I really wanted to have things to talk about, and boy, do I have things. All right, so so we've pulled we've pulled everything out of our pockets. He's pulled everything out of his pockets. He's gotten to the party, seen the kitty cat. I think we're wraps really her up, avoiding this part. Wraps her up like a mummy, and then, well, he does the, the Tex Avery eyeball thing, and, yeah. then, and then turns her into some sexy, she's all that red-dressed woman. Except for it's the exact same costume in red. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> so. And then, hey, guys, do you remember that scene in the original mask where Jim Carrey dances around and sings club songs with um with What's-Her-Face? Yeah, no, we're going to rap now. Oh, it's <laughs> so bad. <laughs> this is what I This is what I wrote. We're both resting our faces on the mics. Yeah. Basically does the club scene in the first movie, but with rap. Neil Diamond and country. Look, kids, relatability. But it's... None of it's relatable. That's the joke. That's my joke. None of it's good. No, it's not. It's bad. Uh, what's what did he say? This is the way that you boogie. This is the way that you dance, or some shit like that. I don't know why I remember any of that. There's no context to no, why no, it why should is, exist. There, we understand why. Again, we. I'm going to keep going back to the original because it's hard not to. But we understand why Stanley Ipkiss' his character acts the way he does. We see him for. A good thirty minutes of the film being shit on before he puts on the mask. Yeah, he's he's the mask before he walks into that club. He's got the mask on and he's doing things around town. He's figured out who he is and he goes, "Oh shit, I got a crush on this girl." Right. I'm gonna go check out this. this I'm a smash. Yeah, he's going down there with a purpose, like in a real movie. <laughs> Wait, what? This is a movie? No, it's. <laughs> n- I uh, again, it's. Part, there are movie parts. They they had movie parts. There are things that there are things that resemble a film in this. And they they took a big old broom and they swept them into a big pile and then fed it to us as a movie. So, yeah, my uh, my wife and daughter decided that it was bedtime <laughs> when the when the music started. Is that why you took a break? You went to bed. Uh, they went to bed. I. Uh, May have let the movie play for about ten minutes while I um, ingested any sort of chemical that may get me through the well, second part of this movie. Hey, David, let me tell you what you might have missed. Is this where they went? Is this where they left? So you might have taken a break at this point. Yeah, I, th- I think so. So the mask gets home and gets laid. Oh no, no, I did see that. Okay, okay, yeah, he gets home and gets laid, and she doesn't notice a thing. Like she doesn't realize that he's banging her with a rubber chicken or something. Or I'm he's sure he did. Green and has it's in the dark. Massive. Give her a break. How dark he didn't is go, it? He didn't go down on her, which is a smart thing because she would have just been chewed to, to fucking hell. He couldn't get up. Well, I mean, he's got cartoon powers. He could have done all sorts of That's cool stuff. That's what I'm stuff. saying. Like used his dick like a balloon animal or something. <laughs> yeah, like, look, it's a giraffe. <laughs> She didn't notice any of this. No, not at all. <laughs> Why is it every time you pump, it sounds like a rubber chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Cut to the next day. He goes to work. Now he's the popular guy. Yep, because yep. movie. That's what I wrote. Yep. He's popular now because movie. Everybody knew it was him. Right. Which I don't know how anybody knew it was him because last time I checked, Tim didn't have plastic hair. Yeah. And he didn't talk like Tim. He didn't act like Tim. He did. I'm not even 100% sure that that's Jamie Kennedy playing the mask. I don't think it is. I really wasn't sure that it was. You can tell it's Jim Carrey in the mask. Oh, this, absolutely. I could not tell whether or not that was Jamie Kennedy and the voice he was doing. I wanted to slap the fucking taste out of the television. Hiya, honey. Like, what the fuck is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's uh, <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good. Uh, bo- the boss is... He, he his boss calls him to the office and he's like, I really like this character and draws him up and now he's tasked Tim to make a cartoon about it. I guess. <laughs> I guess he's making a cartoon. And he, he he tells him that this is the character that he wants. So he, he wants him to get together a pitch for right. something. Which we never actually see the pitch for this particular show, which makes me go, well, of course it's going to be shit. They never showed us. 
anything about it. So he um he goes home to, to, to tell his wife the news that he's got the job and all this stuff. And his wife also has news about being pregnant. And last time I checked, women don't know that they're pregnant. The day, the day after. after. And I could have forgiven it if they comically made it to where she like had the baby like two days later and all this shit because we obviously know it's going to be a mask baby. They make that fairly clear. But they don't. It does take nine months. They mention that in the film, that it was nine months. Yeah. Um. At this point, we get a little montage after they go to the doctor and she finds out that she is pregnant. And these are the parts that I started liking. She goes to vomit and it's bubbles. Oh, I thought see, that was cool. This is I, the part that I missed. You missed some good shit. She's having, the scene should have been longer. It's like a a little mini montage. She's having cravings. She's eating crackers with silly string. Okay. Like just weird shit. The baby's dancing in the, um, in the ultrasound and even does that chick chick a boom song from the first film. Okay. Those are great moments. I want more moments (laughs) like that. And, uh, so yeah, they cut back to Bob Hoskins. Oh, oh, that's, that's it. Bob Hoskins goes back to Loki and says, there's been a baby made of the mask. Yep. See, so this I, is where I kick back in. I wrote here, Bob Hoskins totally watched them fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Loki's still looking for the mask. Um, Loki wants his daddy to love him. These are all the little character moments yeah. that we're getting from here. And if you know anything about Norse mythology, we know that Loki and Odin are not. They don't see Blood related. eyes to eye. <laughs> And <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So, yeah, Odin appears to Loki in an actor that I've seen in a lot of things, but I don't know is the black guy in yeah, the, uh, he, in the library. Yeah, guys. I've seen him in everything. This is where, if you noticed, they, they gave him a contact. They have two different color eyes. They gave him a contact in his right eye, and he's yep. got a nice blue-colored eye. Yep. And I thought that was... a great attention to detail. Yeah, they they showed that he is he is Odin and this is sort of his form, his human form or giving a human form. Uh but no, he just likes he to can, take like, over possess people. I didn't know that that was a it's not, Odin thing. It's not, but you know, movie. <laughs> it's as my dad would say, it's in the script. <laughs> But I mean, really, we we've established that he they've confused him with Zeus. So and <laughs> already, so now, could Zeus uh, take over? No, human? Well, he could take different forms, and he like took the form of a goose at one point and had sex with a woman because women like geese. I don't. What the gods, fuck? Gods are weird. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, I li- I like it when they make gods weird. Like the one that a lot of people talk about around here is all like. He's great, and he does stuff. What does he do? Stuff. He does things. He made me. No, your parents made you. He he, he helps football players get touchdowns. Yeah! <laughs> he sends football players to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important, Chris. It's an important job. Fact. God is Walt Disney. Ooh. Revelation. We we were we are actually mice. We don't know this. Well, now you do. <laughs> Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. So with this news, Loki goes and finds, goes to the hospital, finds all the babies that were born on the day that Loki. Sha- we see him actually do something Loki like, where he shapeshifts into another person. That was a really decent scene too. That who actress shows- deserves way more credit than she gets in this. Yeah, film. Yeah, who shows back up and she's like, "Who are you?" And he's like, "I'm you." And she's like, I don't understand what's going on. She goes, who are you? He goes, I'm you. She goes, me? And he goes, who? Yeah, that. see, that that little back and forth And then fun. I think she faints. I don't remember. I don't know if she faints or runs off. So I know she screams. Oh, so now we get another. I'm, I'm reading my notes and getting excited because I'm seeing things that I actually like about this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so we get another montage where they're taking care of the baby. He's getting up. And feeding the baby and things like that. And this is probably the greatest moment in the movie. He he makes a bottle, sets it down, goes to get the... Or he grabs a lamp instead and breaks the fucking thing over his arm and is about to jab the child in the face with glass. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, none of this registered? <laughs> I've been tired and I've got kids. Right. You've got one more kids than I do. <laughs> you have kids, I have kids, we have children. And I've never wanted to stab any of them in the mouth. Of the- I'm not quite certain that he wanted to stab his child. How how did the light stay illuminated 
after it was broken? Uh, because he, <sighs> that's a good. <laughs> Can you not do that? Can you not light it without with the filament intact? I uh, that'd be you. That'd be a tough break. Yeah, that'd be you. You'd have to be precision. <sighs> So now we're gonna get the wife has to go away so that we can pit dad and kid. Which again, for all of our male listeners, having kids is common sense. As a male, just because you have a penis does not exclude you from understanding how humans work. I promise. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Listen, I even wrote this down. I said he's been doing the dad thing for months, still sucks at it, question mark. Yeah, again, he is hmm. just a lump of inefficient like, human. This baby's big enough to hold up his head, crawl. Um, Their newborn is two. Right. Well, I I think time has passed. They just did a bad job at telling us time <laughs> has passed because there's never been a moment where they're like, this is weird that my child is now two and it was one yesterday, yesterday <laughs> or a baby, an infant yesterday. And I also noticed his wife's a little uh, sort of a bitch. Um, do you really he think takes... so? I don't think she is. I think she she's not a bitch because she puts up with way more of his shit than she deserves to. He takes every night shift. Every scene that they get up during the night. No, no, no. They him. they trade off. They just show him doing it. There's there's po- points where she goes and does it too in that montage. You didn't watch the movie. I did watch You the didn't movie. watch the movie like I watched the movie, <laughs> David. <laughs> I analyzed this shit. I fucking watched every second, every millisecond of this film. He, he No, because she goes to check on the baby too, and then he wakes up and freaks out because he laid down. No, that's in the morning. Right. She goes, I've got it, and his alarm goes off several seconds later, and then he hits the snooze button, and she comes in and wakes him up, and he's like, oh, is it my turn? And I'm like, it was all your turn. Every turn was your turn. I'm fairly certain that they took turns. It's just they showed him doing it all. And they just did a bad job at portraying that it was multiple nights and not just one. Yeah, because it really felt like that was one super long night. You and I, again, you and I are both fathers. You don't have to wake up that many times. No. There's maybe twice. If if you're unlucky, if you're unlucky twice. Yeah. Like to feed, change, whatever you need yeah. to do. Uh, babies are pretty Especially decent. Especially when they're like 17, like this kid was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he's about to graduate high school. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, did I miss that part too? Oh, and then I also wrote this because, yeah, he's bad with the baby. The baby's always crying. And I put, Jamie Kennedy makes babies cries. Not in the script, just natural. <laughs> just in general. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Kennedy facts. In- <laughs> There's plenty of those in this film, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Baby fart for no fucking reason. He's talking to the baby in, in the seat. He's like, I'm going to go do this thing. And the baby just farts. He looks at the baby and it cuts to a fucking nothing scene. And then you get him talking to the kid again. And yeah. it's like the baby says, Mama, because he's on the phone. The- okay. So we've we've gotten to a point where the mom goes on the trip. She's going to be gone for she's a gone. week, and and he's got to take care of this kid. The kid's an asshole to this guy. Well, yeah, the- he has done nothing but try his damnedest. Like I know he's a human waste, right? It's Jamie least, Kennedy. At least he's being like, "Oh, I love you. Oh, you're my son. I'm your dad. Say dead." Like he's. He's trying to interact with the kid in a positive manner. He's not being an asshole to the kid. And this kid automatically is like, I'm going to put this dude in the loony bin. <laughs> well, that's after he sees Michigan J. Frog do it. Still. Yeah. The kid's well, I mean, he's still, he's still fucking with him because he's like, say dad, dad. And he's like, mama. He's like, say dad, dad. Mother. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, bro. And then this dude, the whole time, just takes this kid's shit and is still trying to be a decent dad. And I'm like, I now, now I feel for the guy that I'm apparently supposed to have hated for more than just being completely useless as a functioning human being. Mm-hmm. I don't hate him now. Now I'm I'm mad at the kid. You're mad at the baby because the I'm baby's the an baby asshole. baby because the baby's being an asshole to a dad that's just trying to do his best. Right. And it's his best isn't very much. No, his best isn't great, but it's <laughs> but it's yeah, there. He's there. He's doing it. Go dad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh this is the, and then we go to the first of like three or four Loki dresses up at some as something to find a baby. Yes. And in this case he's just a salesman. How hard did you want a Terminator reference? 
I wanted a Terminator reference so fucking bad in one of these scenes, and they didn't give it to me, David. Again, and this is this is when I questioned, what era is this? What era is this that a door-to-door salesman came to your door, and you just let him walk in the house? Right. Like, this lady's like, I've got kids, and you're a strange man right. walking I have a, in. I have a, a, a one-and-a-half-year-old, and I'm just going to let this guy show up. Yeah. Like, and even then in not 2005. Only sh- not only show up. But what is? How does he fucking take her out? I don't even remember how he, he sucks takes her up this with one the out. vacuum. He sucks with, her up with the which vacuum, which is like crazy transformer vacuum, and she's not going. Hold the fucking phone! What <laughs> the fuck do you have? And how much money do you think I fucking make? Yo, those salesmen, those salesmen bring some crazy shit to your door. Not <laughs> in two thousand and five, but no. nineteen forty seven, uh, which this movie might think it's taking place in. I can, <laughs> with cell phones, I don't understand. Like you, yeah. It, you, uh, these scenes, I'm like, who is falling for this? Right. Who who got got? But like. Up and up until the moment we're getting to now, this movie keeps cutting around and cutting around and cutting around, and then finally he puts the kid in front of cartoons because he's trying to do work, right. and the kid just does not stop screaming. So something yeah. is clearly wrong with this child. Like I would yeah. have taken him to a doctor at Listen, this point. The first sign is the fact that Jamie Kennedy doesn't remember fucking his own wife to make a child because right? he's like, "That's impossible." We haven't even haven't even what Jamie Fox or Jamie Kennedy. <laughs> that would have been a good movie. I want to see Jamie Fox. <laughs> As the fucking mask now. He doesn't even need uh, fake teeth for that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wouldn't it have been great if just Django just put on, on yes. put on the Loki oh, mask God. at some point? Mm, and instead of shooting uh, Leonardo DiCaprio with But he doesn't shoot guns, Leonardo it DiCaprio. It doesn't matter with big, finger, with big finger guns. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like making the noises. The D is silent. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> he he puts the kid in front of Michigan J Frog, or well Flintstones, and then Michigan yeah. J Frog, and the kid gets the idea that he's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna make people think that Jamie Kennedy is crazy. And this is the movie. This is where we get to the movie that they wanted to make the entire fucking time. This twenty minutes of film is the entire movie, and then they had to add shit. Uh, yeah, can we be honest? So I, I at one point, uh, shortly after this happened, I checked to see how much I had left of the movie, because it was, uh, you know, much longer than I expected it to be. And it's I'm like, a 96 minutes. I'm like, it's almost done. I, and I had an hour left. This is like 39 minutes into the movie. Right. And this the 20 minutes that this takes, every bit of this takes up. Is the movie. That's what they were making. That's what's in all the trailers. That's what this film is supposed to be. The Loki shit, the Jamie Kennedy stuff, that's all uh, circumstance. That's all stuff that needs to fluff out to make an hour and, and a half film. Well, have we have we covered the dog at all? Like the dog hates the baby because he gets moved out of out of the room um, they into don't really, a normal dog house. They in the don't backyard. really they don't really show that until this bit because now he wants the baby out the baby wants jamie kennedy go to be seen as nuts he wants the baby out no reason and his his thought because they both share thought bubble they have thought thought bubbles yes the animation in that thought bubble was awesome it's fantastic it was amazing yeah that whole little sequence was fantastic and it gets waste. The animation just gets fucked by the end of this film. And I'm going to get there too. I just need to take a minute. <laughs> Sorry. It really <laughs> pissed me off. Um, so yeah, he, he then, yeah, he has this whole animation of him launching the baby with fireworks. Yeah. So the dog, the dog puts on the mask. Right. And, and, and is, is, uh, snidely whiplash. Uh, I don't remember. It, the dog, it basically turns like, into a Tom and Jerry cartoon. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's Tom and Jerry babies. <laughs> Tom and Jerry with dog and baby. Um, oh, can we also say the baby's name is Alvy? Yes, Alvy Avery. Alvy Avery. So they call him Double A. Double A. Alvy Avery. That's an awful name. <sighs> this is this is the awful part. This is where we draw this the is line. It. <laughs> this is it. The movie would have been great if they named him uh, uh, Chuck Baxter. <laughs> Baxter Avery. He sounds like a millionaire. Hi, I'm Baxter Avery. Come on, sweeties. Mm, let's get into the rolls. He's got a yacht. Mm, yes. He's got a yacht. 
<laughs> just take out, take the yacht out to the movie. Mm-hmm, yes. See, then the teeth would have made sense. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and then I wrote here, enter all the uh, Roadrunner coyote shtick. Because, before I thought Tom and Jerry. Because yeah. it's a baby. He shakes the baby rattle. It's got dynamite in it. Yep. And the baby's onto it and gives him it gives it back to him as a bone and it blows up the dog and whippity fucking do. Yep, we are we are definitely into <laughs> the oh, this is what we actually we spent all our time and money on. Sorry about the script right. and actors Inter- and intercutting <laughs> intercutting and- the Michigan J Frog stuff and freaking out Jamie Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy takes the baby to the neighbor and it doesn't she doesn't believe him. He starts screaming, screaming bloody fucking murder. <laughs> At this child. I know. <laughs> in front of the neighbor. And it's deserved. It is, but it's... <laughs> the I think baby's it was just... an ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be yelling at that baby, too. So, yeah, and then the dog, the dog fetches up some fucking plan and does blueprints again. Fantastic animation in these blueprints. Now, what I wanted out of that dog character is for the dog to sort of like want to protect the the dad Uh and be like no if i save the dad then he's gonna like me again i thought that was the kind of kind of the idea with getting rid of the baby in general because he knows that he doesn't want the baby or didn't want the baby but he doesn't you don't want a baby do you milo otis but he doesn't like isn't there a cartoon called milo and otis yes oh it's an old movie oh there you go what the fuck oh it's not a cartoon though but it does take place with animals talking animals yeah maybe 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 I'm fucking onto something here. <laughs> Holy shit. And the the dog's actually named Myla or Otis yeah. in in real life because in the trailer it's like introducing Otis as Otis. Oh, I'm like Jesus. Yay. Good. <laughs> Fan fantastic. Good for you. I'm glad you did I'm that. Glad. Thank you. What you're telling me is the dog is such a shitty dog actor that it couldn't figure out a character name, so you had to call it by its own name. Don't just because the dog outacted Jamie Kennedy in this movie, <laughs> I'm too mad at the dog. No, I'm not mad at the dog. I'm just mad that the dog didn't realize its name was supposed to be Milo again for some reason. <laughs> like, you're Milo. No, no, the other guy was Milo. They, this is how the dog talks in real life. I don't know if he knows. <laughs> the other guy is Milo. I'm freaking Otis. No, no, no. You're, you're playing Milo. He was in a pound in Edge City. They drove out there. They really needed to take care of this dog because... Stanley Ipkiss didn't want him anymore because he was busy banging Cameron Diaz the entire fucking after the movie. Again, and he didn't want a dog. All things we can understand. <laughs> uh, yeah, until like uh, she became Justin Timberlake, Cameron Diaz, and she got a little trashy yeah. with her films and stuff. We're not here to talk about Cameron <laughs> Diaz, David. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We, we could go on all day about Cameron Diaz, okay? I've wanted to gel that woman's hair since I was a teenager. The Cameron Diaz cast. With- <laughs> With David and Chris. Why couldn't why couldn't they just do a sequel with Cameron Diaz as the mask? Right. I mean, in the comics, there's a female mask. Why can't we have a female? Oh, mask? I I will throw that out there in a minute. No. I've I've I asked myself why his wife didn't put on the mask at one point. Ooh, yeah. Because I mean, we've seen a dog in the mask before. Why can't we see a woman in the mask now? It's sexist. I want to know what Loki looks like when he puts on the mask. Does he get double powers? D- no, but I just or imagine just... that he turns more green. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Just turns green. Um, why is Jamie Kennedy in this movie at this point? Because it's just the dog and the baby for yeah. the for the majority of the the rest of this bit. Diaper changing scene. Do you remember the diaper changing scene, David? <sighs> yes. He starts. Re- he starts pissing multiple streams. Yeah. But where's it all coming from? I don't. I... Like, as a father, are you seeing multiple wingers? Yeah. And like, again. Why haven't we gone to the doctor yet? <laughs> he, I think he, about this point, he's about to take him to the doctor, right? Maybe. Or is it after Loki shows up? It's after Loki shows up. Okay, yeah, which is right now. Loki yes. shows up after the pissing scene. Yeah. And again, I feel like Shrek ripped that off, but with puke, because he gets like blasted with a giant yeah. piss stream. And I'm like, that's Sh- Shrek 2 or 3. Again, I don't remember which one. They're all fucking... Well, I think it's get... the third one. It's the third one. I know it's the third one, because that's the one that is... Justin Timberlake in it. Thanks, Cameron Diaz. Why do you hate Justin Timberlake? <laughs> because I was supposed to bring sexy back, David. <laughs> Not Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Fuck! He did it first, and I'm jealous. <laughs> God damn it. 
Fair enough. And then I was like, all right, he brought sexy back. I'm going to put my dick in the box. And then he did that. And I'm like, fuck. Oh, son of a bitch. Right. Didn't know you had this vendetta. Yeah. And listen, he's been ripping me off for years. <laughs> Ramen noodles on the head. I did it first. <laughs> I, tr- I tried to do a song called It's Gonna Be June. It didn't work. <laughs> he goes and does It's Gonna Be May. And fuck. Million dollars right there. It's gonna be June. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you outsold this movie. <laughs> did I? Did I outsell this movie uh, at this point? Absolutely. All right. So Loki shows up, doesn't think the baby's the baby, then realizes uh, the baby's the baby. What does he show up as? Um, in this, he shows up. Uh, it's like a maintenance guy of some sort. <sighs> I know he does a plumber with a weird fake ass girl scout, which. I... Why didn't he show up as Arnold Schwarzenegger? I'm still fucking confused. <laughs> so, Connor, it would have been amazing. That's what I want. I, I don't remember why he... But he was like sort of surfer dude, California guy. I, I, rem- I vaguely remember that. Why is this the one that we're blanking on? Was it just not as memorable? Well, he picks up the baby and he's like, do something crazy. And he like holds the baby upside down. And Jamie Kennedy, again, being a halfway decent human being, goes... The fuck are you doing with my kid? A halfway human, decent human being. He lets the guy in. The guy goes, "Can I grab your baby?" And he's like, "Sure." But at least he's like, "I'm holding your baby." Yeah, and, I'm letting and a stranger touch my baby. Down, fuck you. And he goes, "What are you doing with the baby?" Nobody else asked. <laughs> he's the only one. Yeah. Well, also, Alvy's the only baby he held upside down for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. All the rest, he he did. He gets things thrown at him and stuff, and it's funny. <laughs> yeah. Humor. So so. They're in the car, and here you go with your, your giant vomit thing. Oh, yeah. Then, he then goes, we... I'm taking you to the doctor, and then I'm taking you to an exorcist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the baby spins his head around and pukes what's, I, I guess, supposed to be the, like, pea, split pea soup. Right. But it's neon green. Correct, because it's the mask. And they're sitting behind Loki in his car, and... The baby has supernatural powers, but fails to recognize that somebody's in the car in front of them. Can we also point out that this baby somehow saw the exorcist? Yeah, or knows of. He had to, listen, Jamie Kennedy was working late hours, Sven Gulli comes on with Exorcist or something, (laughs) and fucking that baby just watches it, I guess, because obviously he's mimicking things that he's seen, Michigan J. Frog, and Woody Woodpecker, he's mimicking things he's seen, and he's had to have seen the Exorcist to know to turn his head and spit spit the soup. Loki follows them? Does... Uh, Does he follow them, or does he just... Get out of the car and... Oh, he does. Jamie Kennedy gets out of the car. Oh, no, no, no. He does. He's going to the doctor. He parks. He's walking to the doctor. Loki is following them. Totally murders a fucking traffic cop. That's right. Like, slams his fucking head in the concrete. Through the concrete. That's right. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Locks them in an alley. And basically, does he take... He doesn't take the kid. No. He says, I found the baby, and he's going to take the baby, and then Odin possesses Jamie Kennedy. That's right. Which is always a bad idea. There is so much overacting in his Odin. Well, he's he's trying. (laughs) He didn't just show up that day. That's his second autobiography. (laughs) Jamie Kennedy, trying. trying. <laughs> That's gonna be on his tombstone. Jamie, here lies Jamie Kennedy. He tried. <laughs> so, well, this is the first time we see the baby, who apparently knows who Loki is, because as they're being followed, he does the eye thing uh-huh. over his shoulder. Uh-huh. Why? He's Did, never uh, seen this guy. I'm wondering if he right? saw him. Did he see him murder the the uh, traffic cop? I don't know. Maybe. I don't remember. Uh, there's a lot I don't we remember. We also already. get. I just watched this movie today, and there's things that I don't remember. We get a super fake baby when they're running through the alleys and stuff. Oh, God. Oh, that baby is so fake. So fake. Faker than that fucking plastic orange hair that Jamie Kennedy has when he's the mask. So so then they do the whole, like, back and forth shtick, and Odin takes him over. Or no, no. It's after Loki tries to throw the large grenade, and we get the daddy... Daddy baby moment where he protects the dad and he's like, You saved me. Yeah. So this is the first time that the baby has been cool with the dad. But again, I don't get 
where the switch came in. Right, because there's never a moment where you see this coming because the whole time he's trying to make him look crazy. There's never a moment where he's like, well, maybe this guy's kind of cool. Yeah. Even to the point where they're in the car going to the point that they're at now. He's fucking with him. Yeah. Fucking with him. Loki turns into Voldemort. Giant fireball in the air. Then Odin takes over yep. Jamie Kennedy's yep. character and basically strips Loki of his powers, tells him, you failed. Get the fuck out. All <laughs> things that happened for... Literally no reason. Like, what? What's the time frame that Odin's giving Loki? Is the is there a uh, later on? He gives him an hour. He doesn't give him a time frame until later on in the film where he gives him an exactly. Hour. So, well, I mean, Loki has threatened so many people at this point. I just think Odin was just like, and Loki's fuck. like, no, you have the baby in your hands, and Odin's like, I'm flat out ignoring you. Right again. Things right. This well, happen. the whole the whole idea was this is your mess. You clean it up. He even said that in the beginning of the film. He's like, "Why don't you use your all seeing eye?" And he's like, "It's your mess. You fix it." Yeah, but he's got the baby. What? He doesn't want the Why baby. Does... He wants the mask. There's never a point where they actually want the baby. But he keeps telling him that you have the baby. Find the baby. Like, that's find the important. mask. That's the idea. Find the baby. Find the mask. That's but, exactly what he says. But Loki is telling Odin, "You have the baby. Like it's important." Right. Again. There's literally no context to anything no, that happens in this movie. <laughs> not at all. So now he gets stripped of his powers. The baby picks up two fucking dumpsters and smashes him with them. But he doesn't die. He doesn't die. He has no powers. Why is he living? Home Alone logic. Uh, or maybe... Well, if the guy he smashed into the concrete is still alive, because you see him kicking. Anything, Kids movie. Does anything he interact with... Gain cartoon relevance, uh, car- cartoon existence. I, I don't even know what you would call that. It's in the script, David. That's what it's called. <laughs> so, so yeah, he he smashes him. They they run away. Um, they go home. They do. They go home. Loki breaks in at night and fucking summons Odin and uh, yeah. slaps the shit out of his projection. Loki breaks in the nosy neighbor. That has is it the same lady that has ten kids? Uh, no, I don't think she has any children. I, I think I I thought it was the neighbor that he went to go get no, help from. I that's the neighbor he goes to get help from, but she doesn't have children. That's not the same lady from the beginning of the film. If that's what you're saying, no, he well he when he wow you might have paid more attention than I did, and I wrote notes when his wife is leaving. He goes, if you need anything, ask so and so Betsy. Betsy or whatever her name is. She's got 10 kids. She's done this before. She'll help you out. And that's where he goes when the the baby's like... When he's screaming at his child like he's going to murder him. And and I think it's the same lady that's standing outside of the window. It is. It's her. Because she's like, Tim? Yeah. Tim? She's got 10 kids. How long did she just stand there and scream Tim at a window? But... Does she? Are they children anymore? She's quite old. Does, She's oldish. Does he even look like Tim? Does Tim no. have that hair? Nobody has that hair, David. Nobody has that hair. Nobody has that hair except for a pineapple and a pine tree. <laughs> and a palm tree. She's literally just standing there. And I felt that the scene was a bit dragging. And if I feel that the scene is a bit dragging in a movie, if it's happening in real time, clearly she should have, like called the police or walked up to the front door and knocked on it. Everything you're or... saying makes sense. <laughs> That's the problem. She it all makes sense. She stands there and some some random dude is standing in the window and doing hands. He does like the, the I'm doing sort of magic hands at you. Ooh. Yeah. It, 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 she just, it, maybe he shouldn't have gone to her for help. She has 10 kids and didn't know to call the police if somebody <laughs> breaks into your house. Uh, hey, Tim, are you the one climbing in your own window? Yeah, on the second floor. Yeah. Into the baby's room? Oh, I don't know if she knows that that's the baby's room. Into the dog's room? She had to be there at some point. <laughs> I'm just guessing that she's seen the house at least once and was like, why do you have an entire room for your dog? So and then he an office. loudly summons Odin. Oh, yeah, super loud to the point where he's like, shh. You wake the baby, and that's the only time we follow that rule, <laughs> right? Because Odin's like, "Oh, okay." The all-seeing god who doesn't give a shit about any fucking mortal life is like, "Oh, the baby's sleeping." Okay, I'll be, I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet for this sentence, and then we're back to screaming at everything. <laughs> 
And he gives Loki his powers back he for an hour. It, for an hour. And now I do have to say I uh, exhaled quickly through my nose when he said, wait, I want to sync up. And they both took out the, the sand timers <laughs> and he, he goes to flip it over and the top comes out and, and it's, it's digital. digital. I was like, hey, that should have been the entirety of the movie. And then I could have gone, you know, done something else. Why couldn't the movie be an hour? <laughs> <laughs> He scares Tim as the baby? Yeah, so Tim th- finally walks in after gods have been screaming through his walls. Right. Uh, he walks in to check on his son, and uh, he's like, oh, good, the baby's still there, and it's Loki. Which, again, that scene was sort of funny, because they drug out that second part of that, the, the second punchline, they drug it out a hair too long, and I don't think they meant to make it that extended timing funny so he turns around because he's like oh my god you're not alvy i'm gonna make some stupid jamie kennedy face into the camera and he turns around and his wife is there well we knew his wife was coming home right so So they're playing against our expectations at this point it's not it's not out of the realm of possibility for it completely is out of the realm of possibility, and I'm going to poke a hole in this even though there's... I don't know why I'm looking for logic in a film. <laughs> How does he know what his wife looks like? He's never seen her. She's been gone the entire time at this point. Yeah, maybe they had pictures or something. And they could have shown us him looking at a picture because yeah, like it didn't make sense. Picture. That's sort of what made it a joke, I guess? Like, No, it made it a joke because he had fake boobs and looked like a girl for two seconds. Ooh, Well... Movie... The, you get the like it's dark and you're like it's just Loki again by the way and he's he's gonna fall for it and he doesn't fall for it right away no not at all because he's already seen Alvy as the baby yeah, so he he, get, goes, he understands what's happening he goes I know you're tricking me again and he's like she's like no no I'm not and he's like oh oh wait and he drops his guard and he goes hold on it is you it is you isn't it and <laughs> he comes forward <laughs> And he goes, yeah. no, you idiot. It is me. Why would it be your wife? And like, I was like, oh, that was that was timed well enough that it was sort of funny. Loki saying what we're thinking. <laughs> yes. The movie. <laughs> and But they, they turn that into a, a punchline because he leaves. He kidnaps the baby. He says, find me in an hour. And I'm like, that's awful timing because you're going to lose your powers in less than an hour at this point. Yeah. Like, why aren't you like, find me in 30 minutes? Well, if he's got the mask. That he right. could put the mask on and have his powers back at any time. Oh, so you know. maybe that's the point. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> See, there you go. Shit. Just thought about that. I feel like the powers of the mask should have been negated after Loki lost his powers because you'd think the they'd mask, be tied, right? The mask should st- cease to exist right. at that point. Or at least they tried it. That would have been a cool scene where he tries to put it on, Loki loses his powers, and it doesn't work. Clink. Yeah, see, we could have made this movie better. Anybody could. My fucking <laughs> seven-year-old daughter could have made this movie better, David. Not watching this movie makes it better. <laughs> makes it a lot better. So, yeah, he runs off, and then now... Oh, no, no, no. He doesn't just run off. He shoves dynamite up his own ass and lights it. Yes. I was like, <laughs> what is yes. going on? So, I'm like, okay, because he doesn't have the baby. When he's doing this no, little model. So you kind of thought it was the baby that did it, so right? So I'm like, oh, the baby's going to fight Loki for the dad. Like, he's like, oh, cool, I'm going to save my right. dad We've established Loki. that now Alvy kind of gives a shit about his dad a little bit. Yeah. Or maybe it was the dog. Maybe the dog's put on the mask. Somebody shoved dynamite up in. this guy's ass. No! It was him! <laughs> he shoved dynamite up his own ass and launched himself with the baby into the alleyway. And I'm going... <laughs> Why? Tell me that wasn't fantastic, though. You, you have infinite power, and this is what you choose like to Alan, do with it? Alan Cumming, we know that you're part of the LGBTQ community, but you're setting a bad example for what they're into, man. Like, your kink is your kink, but keep it out of the fucking movie. We don't kink shame here. Uh, no. But, but I mean, there's better ways of travel? Right. <laughs> God of Mischief can uh, score some free, free flink of fire miles? That's so, really hard to say. Jamie Kennedy is going to run out and find... Or he would presumably find Otis. He doesn't say this until his wife shows up. Well, the wife then shows up. Correct. This is how he found out her name was Tanya, because he shouts it. Okay. okay. Or, well, he shouts it after he finds out that it's really her by tackling her, 
pounding her head on the ground, then grabbing her tits and realizing it's her. Yes, I noticed that as well, where he doesn't believe it's her until, until he, he grabs, grabs his... her boobs. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing else. Again, <laughs> there are better modes. You should see the director's cut where he totally fingers her. <laughs> oh, it is you! <laughs> Checks her ass for dynamite. Ooh. <laughs> Turn over. I need to see if there's any gunpowder in your asshole. Wait, what? I know it's your way of travel, you son of a bitch. <laughs> it's not Loki. I are don't smell gunpowder on are this black brown are you, eye. Are you kink shaming me? <laughs> if, if your partner's brown eye smells of gunpowder, it might actually be a guy. If your partner's... <laughs> Bunghole smells like gunpowder. She might be a Loki. <laughs> she might be a Norse god. She might be a Norse god. <laughs> Blue collar Loki tour. <laughs> That's the movie I want now. I want that movie. Where Alan Cumming does bad <laughs> southern accents for a fucking hour on stage. With that hair. With the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a hat. I wear a hat. I know where, I know where Otis ran off to. He's fucking that other Jack Russell uh, yeah. Terrier. And what's with the background? This director has a heart on for animals. He did cats and dogs. He did this movie, and that's it. Is there any reference to the other dog earlier in the movie? Yes. Yeah. Venus is mentioned first thing. I, I okay. said that in, earlier. Okay. She's, that, again, I don't remember that very well. She's mentioned first thing in the film. He's like, we're going we're gonna to take this guy down. And because his wife, he, being an intelligent human being, goes, hey, maybe we should call the authorities. Also, she says, hey, why is the dog green? But yeah, she, she's like, I want to call the cops. And he's like, no, you can't. And, and like takes her phone and throws it. And then she grabs the cell phone, takes that, throws it. Like, there's a whole thing about that. Why they, doesn't he have a cell phone? Because some of the characters forget that they're in modern time. Haven't you paid attention? <laughs> Couldn't she have just called his cell phone? <laughs> Is he not allowed to have one? Listen, would you trust Jamie Kennedy with a cell phone? I think there's a I court order I, against him holding a cell phone. I think I might give him a cell phone just to check in and make sure he's still alive <laughs> walking down the street. Listen, after Scream, he doesn't carry phones <laughs> on him anymore. He's afraid of people calling him and asking him what's a fa- his favorite scary movie. His answer is it's The Son, Son of the of Mask. Mask. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new answer. <laughs> What's your favorite scary movie? The the Son of the Mask. Oh, Who was the killer in that film? <laughs> the director killed an hour and a half of my time. I'm so sorry. I'll leave you alone. What's his name? I'll kill him. <laughs> oh fuck! You watch that? You watch that movie from beginning to end? Oh fuck! I ain't going in there. Listen, I was gonna totally stab you in the chest twenty thousand times, but now fuck it. <laughs> you, you killed yourself on the inside a long time ago with that one. <laughs> I was gonna kill you, but you're already dead inside. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know a Sydney Prescott? <laughs> do you have her number? <laughs> I don't think that bitch would be stupid enough to watch that movie. <laughs> this is a prequel. So he's like, that guy, that guy, we need to go get Loki. He totally hates dogs. Yeah, so that was his way. He gives this whole heartfelt, like, man's best friend. We we were cool, you know. You you've been my best friend for however many dog years. Right. It's like I know, I know we used to fuck, and then I got married, <laughs> and that ruined you. And then you had your own room, and then I got a kid and took that away from you too. Like I know, I know, I feed you and keep you alive and keep you off the streets, but I really have to convince you to save my life. <laughs> you should be doing you. I should talk you into doing me favors because you're such a good dog. And good dogs would... Wait, why am I having to talk you into this? <laughs> exactly. Right, right, no. Well, fucking come on, man. Like, So so the dog just gives him the mask. Oh, yeah. And they go, what? They go... Back to, to that same alleyway. To the... Uh, okay. It's the same alleyway. To the alleyway. Um, where Loki and the baby are chilling, playing Twister, fucking around, having a powers off. Loki pulls that... They do a little Clint Eastwood type thing. Yeah, where, which, again, Alan Cumming does great. In oh. that, that scene where he's dressed up and it's the good, bad, the ugly. Yeah. I was like, bro, that's that's fucking spot on. That's that, legit. It looked fantastic. I'm telling you, dude, Alan Cumming is great when you let him in. Then you put him in films like this and Spy Kids and fuck up his entire career. <laughs> that man was the best MC in Cabaret. Jesus Christ, that man can fucking go. Yeah. Oh, again, the cast saved Jamie Kennedy, who, if he had taken... 
the last scene and stretched it out over the course of this movie probably would have been halfway decent, but he just played this character all wrong. <laughs> yeah, he was trying to act, and that was his biggest mistake. I can't, I can't completely blame him because he didn't choose those shots. He didn't choose every time something around him happens to wear the like film harness where it's just the shot of his face uh-huh. with semi fish eye and make some stupid f- he didn't make that decision but he totally chose the way he like when the dog is sneaking through the hallway and he's like no oh my god no! yeah no <laughs> what the fu- i would have been like cut cut jamie can you stop fucking around and actually act <laughs> Can you can you be surprised instead can, of sad? Can you stop doing whatever it is you're doing and <laughs> get back hey, to doing? Remember this movie? when you were in Scream? That was good. Can you do that? Or I'm gonna make sure that you do the thing you did in Scream too. Do you mean die? Yeah, fucking die. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you, Jamie. Listen, if I made this movie, it would have been totally different. <laughs> Again, it would have been Cameron Diaz with uh, mask gel in her hair the entire film, and you know what I mean by mask gel. In her hair for the entire film. <laughs> We're getting back on Cameron Diaz. God damn it. <laughs> Stay tuned for the Cameron Diaz cast coming soon. <laughs> Does Cameron Diaz... I can't even finish that sentence because it's bad. <laughs> Hashtag her too. Fuck! So we're in the alley. They're hanging out. They're, Playing Twister. They're, they're cool with each other now. Mm, yeah. Uh, clearly the baby could have done, you know, gotten away at some point and listen if you it's like me like when i get in a room full of comic geeks i'm at home when i'm in a room full of gamers i'm at home that's how this baby feels probably oh yeah no 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 like i get that but then they show up and they're like all right we're gonna do the switch and loki takes the mask and says i'm attached now fuck it yeah and he goes i'm attached to this baby and the baby just does nothing because loki doesn't have loki loses his powers right well, no, he doesn't lose his powers just yet because he lures him through a car chase where they make this shitty fucking uh, that's teeth, right. tooth mobile. Yeah. They do a car chase to an arena where they have a boxing match that's so short. Like, that would have been really cool if they would have drawn it out a little more. But they decided to do the uh, Bugs Bunny pencil bit where Loki turns into the animator, basically. Yeah. It starts erasing, drawing things, erasing things. Yeah. And that's kind of cool. But it's like a blink and you miss it. It would have been cool in, in had it had some form of context, like right. Again, I don't imagine this guy is watching Chuck Jones, Tex Avery cartoons, like Jim Carrey's character would have been. Yeah, or or had they like stopped the boxing match or had a conclusion to that bit? There's a before- fart. There's a giant fart scene in there too. Uh huh. In that boxing match where my uh-huh. mouth was open. Uh huh. Yeah, there was. Remember the two? Hey guys, remember the mid two thousands where they put farts in every PG thirteen movie? (sighs) Do they still do that? I hope not. They do, don't they? I think so. I don't watch these things. My children watch the films. I just ignore the fuck out of them. Except for Coco, I cried like a bitch. Well, it's Pixar. Well, even more so. It's that movie. They got your emotion on speed dial. Oh my god! Especially that film. You ever seen Up? You ever seen the first five minutes of Up? That's the only thing I've seen of Up, and that's why I can't fucking watch that film. (laughs) But this isn't the Upcast. (laughs) We can't do Does This Movie Suck because it's Pixar and it's not Cars Two, so we know it's not yes. (laughs) We know it's no. Yep. Yep. Or any of the Planes movies, which everybody just glances over. Nobody even <sighs> thinks about. Nobody counts those. That was in the dark times when we tried to get Lasseter to do something else. And Lasseter was like... You mean inst- uh, you were trying to get Lasseter to do more than be a fucking creep? Is he? You didn't know that? No. Yeah. Lasseter. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, People no. were coming out Harvey Weinstein like a motherfucker on this uh... dude. Yep. Yep, John. He's like John Chris Valusi and um, fucking Harvey Weinstein wrapped into a fucking Boo. package. Because he was like hiring chicks just to be like, oh yeah, and like mostly younger chicks too. John Chris Valusi of uh, Spumco, you know, Ren and Stimpy and stuff. Boo. He would hire sixteen-year-old girls and teach them how to animate just so he could prey on them. And Harvey Weinstein is Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I have to tell people who John Chris Valusi is, <laughs> or John K. Uh, yeah, 
he they that was at the time where Disney like wanted Pixar to do a bunch of weird like planes and stuff like that yeah. and Pixar was like we're going to go over here and make some movies and those movies made money. I think it was Toy Story 2. Uh yeah. And Well, Toy Story 2 is a little bit but way bit before the Cars franchise and stuff like that. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know the timeline there, but it's pretty early before they made. They made some movie and it made one metric fuck ton of money, and Disney was like, "Oh, how many zeros you need on that paycheck to come back?" Listen, you know how. Listen, planes might end up on this show. You know how seriously they took fucking planes. They cast Dane Cook, <laughs> so they didn't take it. Seriously they didn't at take all. it seriously at all because they cast Dane fucking Cook. Yeah. Oh, the dark times for Pixar. So yeah, there's. Basically, at this point, now they're doing a thing where he's like, wait, let's stop fighting. We're matched. Let's let the baby decide. Couldn't they? Uh, so, going back to the Which means Loki match. watches, wa- at least watch that Golden Retriever episode of Full House. <laughs> I think that's where he got this whole whole movie. <laughs> From Full House? It's yeah, just, I'll just, uh, just sitcom it. Bob Saget as the mask? Oh, would have been beautiful. Have you ever sucked dick for weed? There's so many good bits that they could have thrown into that boxing match. Horseshoes in the boxing gloves. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. They could have done the, like, hammer with the bell. There are so many good bits from old school Tex Avery cartoons where they do boxing. I I think there's like three Bugs Bunny centric ones where he does boxing. Right. And that's the whole cartoon. And they do one fart joke and then the pencil thing. Yeah. And I was super disappointed that I didn't get to see some sort of classic throwback joke. Because farts are not classic throwback jokes. Not at all. Farts are are cheap. And filler. fucking stupid. They land every now and then. You just got to time it right. But this was... None of this movie was timed right. Like, it was <laughs> created and lasted an hour and a half. Choose. Uh, choose. And he's going to choose Loki because Loki's pretending and fucking around. Is, it uh, basically turns into Beetlejuice. I was going to say, he does the whole... I was like, did Tim Burton, like, step in for the final scene of this movie? Uh, right. He turns into that little carousel thing that Beetlejuice turned into. It was a complete fucking ripoff. Yeah. And so he's going to go he's going to go to that because it's flashy and Jamie Kennedy takes off the mask and this is where we get what you were talking about. Okay, so this is, scene right? Is this it? Uh, it's it's almost it. Like we get this scene where he pulls off the mask and he's given this heartfelt speech and I was like, "Oh, okay. You know, I'm I'm behind his character now." Now I'm like, "Oh, you're not such a complete idiot." <laughs> Just a There's partial There's really idiot. no reason for this revelation because you've tried to be a good dad the whole time. So I don't know why learning that you want to be a good dad right. should even be in this movie. Right. Maybe the baby's first words should be, sorry, I fucked up. Yeah. So so then we get, you know, he, the the baby, does he go? Yeah. He, to, joined, he, goes, he goes to, to dad. Him. Yeah, he goes to dad. No, he says dada. That's what it dada. is. Yeah, he Aww. says the dada, and you're like, oh, Aww. cool, yeah. And Loki then runs out of time, loses his powers. He, well, yeah, he's about to, he gets pissed off, and he's like, fuck it, and he turns into the Hulk again. Yeah, so he, he's turning into the Hulk. Which is where I think the girl, Tanya, where Tanya should uh-huh. have picked up the mask, put the mask on, and fought Loki. And, sh- and shot b- missiles out of her boobs. Yeah. Because that's what they would have done. Or even done the like, whole like spinning, punch him through the roof. Uh-huh. Or some, some old school cartoony mm-hmm. gag. With like that powerful fucking score behind it. Yeah, so yeah, something along. The, she could have done something, and then they could have been like the mask family. And there's a whole like. Hey. Let's talk. Hold on. Let's talk about that score, by the way, because every time there's like a heartfelt dad moment in this movie, they cut straight to some full house type shit. <laughs> oh yeah, like the fucking pianos and soft sounds. It's adorable. Oh, absolutely. Like I almost called my dad after I watched this <laughs> film because it's it was very Freudian. I think this director has daddy issues. Oh yeah. Because the whole movie is like, I don't want to be a dad, because probably his dad was a fucking dick to him. He doesn't say it, but I mean, definitely realize that Jamie Kennedy probably got the shit kicked out of him as a kid. Yeah, yeah. My son's going to be a contractor, not a fucking cartoonist. <laughs> bah! Give me another beer, you useless piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Dad, I'm going to go draw. No, you're going to get a real job and get your hands dirty, you fucking useless twit. <laughs> 
Okay, Dad. I love you, Dad. And then Jamie Kennedy grew up and made this movie. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so so then this is where this is where I was like where was this character the whole movie? Cuz J- uh Odin comes in and is like you failed, I'm taking your powers, you get you're daddy worthless. Here too. And and Loki's like you don't listen to me cuz I'm pretty terrible person and you shouldn't but you don't listen to me hi i'm jamie kennedy i'd like to tell you guys how you could be friends or you could be a good dad and son look at us and he he straight up like strolls up to him and he's like whoa whoa there uh, he goes he legitimately says whoa whoa there grizzly adams <laughs> take it easy on the kid like he comes in and he's like hey everything's cool and he like pats him on the shoulder and he's like you can just have your mask back jesus right <laughs> if this is this is what you guys this are just gonna fucking deal, just fucking hang out with your kids sometime. You guys, gonna ble- dick. you guys gonna bleed from the puss the entire time? I'm gonna give you the fucking mask. I'm, and I'm, I'm going if we had this character throughout the whole movie where where he's sort of nonchalant, or even if he was like as the mask, if uh-huh. he was this nonchalant like cool guy, the movie would have been better. The, but let's face it, they didn't really want Jamie Kennedy as no. the mask in this film because no. he's barely the mask in this film. And, and anytime he is the mask, he's just doing Jim Carrey. Jamie Kennedy was filler in this movie. Exactly. I Jamie don't... Kennedy is filler in whatever movie he's in. Even Malibu's Most Wanted, which is a movie that is based around an entire character that he created for a stupid fucking hidden camera show that I'm going to rant about fucking Malibu's Most Wanted. I'm sorry. They created a fucking entire film based on a character that he did on a goddamn reality fake hidden camera show. I'm glad they didn't do this with Ashton and Kitchenins, the guy that wore the hat, you know, two and a half babies or whatever. <laughs> you know who Ashton Kitchenin is. is. Um, Cheated any- on Timmy Moore, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> any- yeah. No, that's Bruce Willis. You fuck. No. <laughs> I know. I know. Wait, but they had an open relation. We're not talking about them. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck! Bruce Willis well, was the last one! <laughs> We're not even talking about fucking Ash named Kitchenins. I know his name's <laughs> Ashton Kutcher, goddammit. Anyway, listen, Jamie Kennedy doesn't belong in anything but Scream. That's the fucking only movie I've ever liked him in. There are even moments in this film where I think he's... he. I thought he was Pauly Shore a bit. He's a little... Uh, like when he's like, Who do the fishy? Who the fishy? Oh, that I'm scene like, was so... Are you Polly Shore? Uh, he when he's like his wife. Is... How does he have the cute chick from Monk as his wife? Uh, I don't know. His wife is trying to have a legitimate conversation in which she is being a little aggressive about it. Correct. You know he is also a human, right? Who has decisions and and a life, right? He's and... like I, I'm not. Like he's like, I'm not sure I'm ready for a baby. And she's like, You don't want a fucking baby? What's you piece of shit. You? Fuck you. Why am I married to you? You don't even want to put a fucking seed in me, you son of a bitch. Yeah, she's not worried about, you know, his life as a turtle or anything like that. But right. you don't want a baby. You're ruining his turtle career, you son of a bitch. God, part of me throughout the whole movie, I'm going, Is this just about like we should all just be stay at home dads? Like I'm in. We'll just we'll just marry rich, and that's what we should do. You stay at home, dad, and have your uh, your in laws fucking hate you for it. Is this it. the worst version of daddy daycare? <laughs> <laughs> There's not. Listen, don't say daddy daycare out loud because I will make you watch that film because I don't like it. I love that movie. Really? Oh yeah. Listen, after he did the clumps, he lost all fucking respect from me. Are we gonna watch Kangaroo Jack next? Oh my god, I fucking love Kangaroo Jack, so we can't watch that movie. <laughs> Listen, I don't know that I've ever seen a movie with Christopher Walken in that I don't like. <laughs> and it I I and he was in Hairspray. <laughs> What's wrong with Hairspray? Nothing, but I'm saying he, I I'm sorry. <laughs> are we are we now hating on a handful of musicals it's not that the, I like? It's not the John Waters Hairspray, so I have to be that guy. <sighs> but it's still good. It is good, but John Travolta doesn't eat shit whatsoever in that entire film. He can, he does he can't even lick the bottom of Divine's shitty boots because he can't even eat one little doggy shit. John I think Travolta just wants a happy ending from some muscular dude. <laughs> Speaking of 2005, Jesus Christ, David. <laughs> Next time on Battleship Earth podcast. Oh yeah, so we find out that she's pregnant again. The end, basically. Yeah, yeah. It pretty much wraps up. They, they're happy family. He gets his show. Oh yeah. Fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh fuck, We fuck, skipped fuck, over fuck, that. Fuck. 
Fuck. It's probably one of the... Now so, we know why we skipped over it. So, he, yeah, he gets the show, but it's not the mask show. It's about the dog and the kid who are trying to kill each other because, again, that was the movie. That's the movie that the director-writer went in and said, I want to make a movie about the mask where a baby is a fucking Tex Avery cartoon in the mask is on a dog, you know, because the first movie, and we're going to have the hijinks ensue. Is that going to fill at least um, 90 minutes? Um, no. Um, bring in Jamie Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> we need a waste of human space. Bring in Jamie Kennedy. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, it's not even bring in Jamie Kennedy. They're like, is Jamie Kennedy still camping out back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> His tent blew away two weeks ago, but he's still out there with a, with a bottle of booze and just begging us for fucking rolls. All right, bring him in. Does he still have the bleach tips? <laughs> no, sir. <sighs> bring him in. Bring him in. <laughs> so he sh- they turn it into a cartoon. So we have two great, well-done animated sequences in this film when the dog imagines blowing up the baby. And makes the blueprint. And the blueprint. Which is uh, what I was hoping he would turn in for his pitch. And then... We get the fucking CG nightmare that is the animation that he turns into a TV show. Which, if you watch the scene that he's talking about it, Cal Penn is in a... Oh, he's coaching the baby and the dog. That's actually the baby and the dog. He's not coaching anything. He's sitting on a, a box in a blue suit with... A blue morph suit with the the balls, as as yes. if they're supposed to be doing like CG around him. By the way, this was a guy who was in um, Barack Obama's fucking uh, yeah cabinet. He, he like, worked in the White House. Yeah, <laughs> the the man can can write. He can act. He he can comedy. He does things. Good. And, and and in this film, they decided they were going to name him Jorge to make him say Holmes a million fucking times and put him in a ball suit. The entire every time you see him, he's in a ball suit. And the baby, I think, is in a ball suit, and the dog, I mm-hmm. think, is in mm-hmm. a ball suit. And You're right. Both the baby and the dog are just jumping up at Cal Penn sitting on a box. I don't know what scene this is supposed to be, because it's not the one we see. Isn't it, though? No. And isn't that scene kind of a ripoff of Roger Rabbit? Why Isn't there a refrigerator involved? Or I maybe I just so. imagined that maybe. because I thought it was a ripoff of Roger Rabbit. I don't know, but what's going on in the background of what they're supposed to be shooting has absolutely nothing to do with anything and it was distracting as fuck because all i can all i can see is the stuff happening on the computer which is supposed to be what we're seeing right and it's not hey i know you want your kid in this tv show but maybe you should do something it, yeah steven steven wright has words i think at the end yeah he's like this is way better than your fucking green guy thing <sighs> steven wright where did he go wrong? Um, nowhere, nowhere. He 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 did okay. Uh, he realized that Ben Stein was only going to be in this film for a while, and he needed another monotone speaker. He was in the Emoji movie. Yeah, I think this is where he went wrong. I think Son of the Mask is <laughs> where he is, fucked up. This was his turning point. Right, correct. Because before this, he was in fucking great films like Reservoir Dogs and fucking Half Baked. He was the dude on the couch. Like yes. he he played he knew who he was and he played his role and he had right. fantastic stand up. But now he doesn't even do stand up. By the way, I thought I thought of a new mask movie I want to see. I don't know if you're into this. Jack Black as the mask. Oh, absolutely. I love Jack Black. Jack Black is the mask. I'm gonna I'm gonna comment on Jablinski games and uh, fucking you need to be the next mask. They need to reboot this. No. no honestly, if they're no. rebooting this, if they're rebooting this, they need to do uh fucking um they need to get uh fuck God. Zack Snyder. It all needs to be slow mo, dark and it gritty. It d- does need to be Zack Snyder. I'm a, I'm actually okay with this. It, they they went on a kick with these like real deep dive uh, indie comics because we got Mystery Men as well, right? Which is Flaming Carrot. Yeah, uh, which is which is based on the Flaming Carrot. Also, since we mentioned Dane Cook earlier, he's got a brief cameo in there. Yeah, he's the Waffler. Yeah, I I actually really liked Mystery Men. Yeah, I know there's a giant fart joke in uh, it. Well, I mean, there's an entire character whose whole who's, character yeah. is built around it. But it was it's an enjoyable movie. Which again, I just think that's Paul Rubens as a person. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's what gave him away jerking off in the theater was he farted real loud. Okay. Time out. <clears throat> He, yes, I know. People are that's what they go to those theaters to do. It was a porn theater. I've been to a porn theater and they have Were, Did you jerk off? No. 
So he could he could have kept his hand off his dick, David. I just wanted to, I just wanted to see what it looked like. You just wanted to smell the um oh, the was, fucking alkalytic smell. Oh, it smelled fantastic, right? Because you know, semen is an alkaline, so it smelled like bleach. <laughs> I imagine, right? I, it, they or did all, it smell like bad that bathroom that cheap bathroom cleaner? It's the cheap bathroom cleaner <laughs> that all the oh, all the the like sex shops and everything uh-huh. they that's, all use the same fucking. Cleaner. That's why the seats are wet. It's not because somebody jizzed on them. It's because they sprayed them down they heavily. Dump that stuff. But you know, you walk in and and it's the seats and it's a normal movie theater. But the front half, like if you were in a stadium theater, you know the the front half is separate from the the bottom half uh-huh. or the the top half. the The bottom half of the theater was roped off, and it just says couples only. Uh huh. And it's literally got like a table and chairs around it. So so somebody is supposed to. Was there couples? No, no it was practically empty. <laughs> And then there's booths over to the side with glory holes in them. Those are the spanky booths or whatever. Or you can be like, oh, this is getting me hot. I'm going to go blow a guy. Yeah. I, I do that all the time. If, if I almost did that watching The Son of the Mask. <laughs> I felt like I was doing that watching The Son of the Mask. You're definitely feeling like you're taking, uh, taking sexual advantage of. Oh, yes. You're like, the director is fucking me royally at this point. But it's, it's what you go there for. Grab my tits to make sure it was me. They arrested him because he was Pee Wee Herman. That's yeah, why they arrested him. They did it again dude. when they found magazines in his house. Tasteful boy magazines because he likes boys. Whatever. Who cares? I do. God damn it. <laughs> P- P- he's Pee Wee Herman. Gays can't educate and entertain my children. Fuck you. That show's not educational at all. <laughs> it teaches you the word of the day. Ah! That's true. Ah! Oh, the word of the day is uh, garbage film. <laughs> So, so I'm so, going to say the word of the day. You ready? The son of the mask. Ah! <laughs> so, Chris, in summary. Does this movie suck? Does this movie suck? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, except for um, some of the jokes land for me. There there was a handful of, of jokes that hit for both of us. And we both had different jokes that we enjoyed. I I don't feel that it's a coherent movie whatsoever. I I feel like uh I I feel like there's no context to literally any scene in this movie. Nobody reacts to anything that's actually going on in front of them. In this no, movie. everybody's invoking Ben Stein except for Jamie Kennedy and <laughs> Ben Stein is the mask. Smoking. Wow. If you want dry green eyes. Listen, Ben Stein, our eyes were like this from the green. That's why we're <laughs> using the visine. Wow. The film was heavily panned, but Alan Cummings' no. performance was heavily praised. What? <laughs> what? People liked him. Who the fuck liked that? No, listen. We Alan liked Cum- Alan Cumming. No, Alan Cumming was good in bits. But no, Alan Cumming was not good in this. He was Alan- better than everybody else, Alan that's Cumming- not saying that. Alan Cumming was ripping off Dor- Corky Romano and fucking, <laughs> a fucking Terminator without doing Terminator. But he's basically Terminator. It, 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 no, 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 no. If we're going to give anybody credit... It's um, the people who watch this film for sticking through for 90 fucking minutes. That's who we're giving credit to. Uh, so we took you through that slog of a fucking film. Join us next week to see if the uh, next movie sucks.